hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do my bohemian box braids these are the first time i am doing bohemian braids but yeah so it was really really easy so i feel like i should make a video as you can see i already started the back of my head because if i shown the process of parting my hair it would have been too long and very stressful because the back is always hard for me but here is the item that you would need for today's um braiding hair tutorial <laughs> and yeah so i'm showing you guys a little part of how i did my box braids i did the rubber band method because i feel like it's easier for me to grip so you know part your hair first um moisturize it comb it out and then put the rubber band on that part and it gives you an easier grip when you're doing the box braids so as you can see i, I separated the hair um, I used a little portion that I used for the braid and I put it over the rubber band and it was just an easier grip for me and then I just started braiding it in with my real hair. So once you get down to like the last part of your real hair, all you can do is just add a little piece of the braiding here onto that piece of your real hair and just braid it on in and continue the process. This is something that I always do. I know people do feed-in braids, but I'm not really used to that. So if you wanted to do like an easier option, then this is what I do for that easier option. I don't know, I have to work on feed-in braids. That's something I really do have to work on because feed-in braids is like the new thing when you do box braids or whatever, or um, what is it called? What is it called? Feed-in? No, not feed-in. Knotless braids, yeah, that. But this is not knotless braids, of course, it's box braids. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys the process of how I do my box braids, and then we'll get into how I add the bohemian hairstyle into the box braids. So now I'm done with the box braids part. Here is the passing twist and you would need a crochet needle or tool and some mousse. The reason why you would need mousse is because it can get frizzy if you're separating the passion twist like I did. So I just put on mousse and a little bit of gel to make it look more, you know, not too frizzy, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I did. So here's the part that's really, really easy, y'all. So listen, you get your tool, your crochet tool, you put it through any part of the braid. Um, it doesn't matter, you can put it on the top or the bottom, but that's how it should look. Make sure that the needle part is sticking out and just put on, just put the passion twist on top of that needle, close it and put it straight through that braid. So once you have it straight through, it should be a loop. The passion twist should have like a loop to it. So make sure you get to that loop so you can um, pull in, 
part of the passion twist through the loop, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. I'd be so insecure about how I explain things because I feel like I don't explain things really good. But y'all can see what I'm trying to do. Just trying to get that loop together so it won't um, cause any conflict with like the passion twist. But yeah, so I put in only one part of the twist through that loop. Right through. And then you just squeeze, you know, close it like that that's it that's all that's it so easy and it's so cute um what i do to prevent frizz is just put mousse and gel um you can do that every day if you do well not every day but if you do see some frizz that's what you could do to prevent that and it's so easier to do the crochet method because people usually will braid in the passion twist with the braiding hair but once it gets too frizzy, I'm going to want to take it out. And it's easier to take it out if it's crocheted in. So it's just so much better. I totally suggest the crochet method when you're doing this type of look. So that's really all for this look. It was really cute, easy, and simple. If you know how to do box braids, then you can definitely do this. It just adds some little spice to your box braids, you know. But yeah, that's all. All you would have to do after is just dip your hair in some hot water so you can seal your braids at the bottom you can do that method the um, hot water method before you put in the passion twist in your braids I just feel like it will be more better but I didn't do that I sealed everything with the hot water even the passion twist but I mean it doesn't even matter to each his own whatever works for you but like I was saying just put in some gel or some mousse or both if you you know feel like it's needed and you can get this look and it looks really really cute so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video here these cards go i'm so sorry but yeah see you in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye